It's that time of the day, baby. A brand new Pokemon Go episode with myself. Last time I showed you guys how to rank up insanely quickly and had some epic, epic catches. It was an all round amazing day of Pokemon Go. Today we're going to be heading out again and trying to rank up even more, my friends. I've got loads of eggs that I want to hatch, specifically some of the two kilometer eggs, believe it or not. I'll explain that in a little bit. But I just want to take a few seconds in this intro to say I love you guys. You guys are supporting my videos on an unreal level. I was up till 4 a.m. last night getting the last episode up. And you guys blew it away with the amount of likes and comments and support on it. So, like, I, I feel so happy at the moment to be doing this and sharing it with you guys and getting such positive feedback. Now, if you guys watched all the way to the end of last episode, I finished it off without showing my squad because it was so late when I came to put the video up. So today, we're going to start off again, as always, in the Pokemon HQ and show you guys what we're going to be up to today and how my squad's looking. So let's take a look at how my squad is doing. Obviously, last episode, we did loads of evolutions. Just look at how many Raticates and Pidgeottos I have have like an unreal amount of Pokemon. It's crazy. We've got our Golbat and Hypno at the top there, which is awesome. And the main Pokemon right now is my Electabuzz, which is 818. He's an absolute machine because I hatched one in the egg and I powered him up loads. He is my main monster right now. He's absolutely destroying things. Now, I'm not sure if I had a chance to show it in the last video, but I did manage to evolve a Spearow into a Fearow. Not the most powerful Pokemon at the moment, but it's a really cool bird Pokemon. Look at that. You can spin them around. You can tap them as well through their attack animation. So in terms of evolutions and Pokemon, we're doing really well. And we've definitely got a few high squad members that are looking awesome. Now, one thing to know, obviously, I'm about halfway through level 13 at the moment. The CP or the the combat power of the Pokemon you find in the wild will increase as your level increases. So that means that if you're level 10 and you find a Pidgey, it probably won't have as high a combat power as somebody who's level 15 that finds a Pidgey as well. So basically, the higher you progress and the higher level you get, the better Pokemon you'll find, and you'll start to want to evolve and power up the Pokemon you're finding at the higher levels because their combat power will be greater, if that makes sense. In terms of items, I keep on going to the Poke Stops. It says my bag is full, which is really annoying because I can't access the store to make it any bigger. We've got loads of potions, super potions, revives. I've got a single lucky egg for double, double XP, a single incense, and also some pokeballs and great balls, which is awesome. And then one lure module. So not too many items, unfortunately. I just need the game to come out here in the UK so I can buy loads of stuff. In terms of our eggs, I mentioned that I wanted to do something with a two kilometer egg. Well, I actually had an egg that hatched literally this morning as I was looking after Evie. I recorded the clip on my phone. So let's take a look. So what was it? What was it? Oh, it's coming out the egg. What is that? Boy, it is a Clefairy, my friends. And that was from, I believe, a two kilometer egg. So really, really good hatch there. A brand new Pokemon for our Pokedex and more XP. Now, the reason I want to start doing two kilometer eggs, well, at the moment I've got a two, five, and a 10, is because although the two kilometer eggs statistically should give you the worst Pokemon, they also give you the chance of spawning the starter Pokemon, to believe it or not. So Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander can all come from two kilometer eggs if you luck out really, really hard. So since I'm going to be walking around today, I want to try and get through a few of the two kilometer eggs potentially and see what we get from them because it could be potentially very, very epic. So guys, this is the start of my character right now. You can see how we're looking. We're building up all of those stats about halfway through level 13 and hopefully by the end of this episode, we're closer to level 15 maybe. I really want to get there. I think it'd be absolutely epic. So let's leave this headquarters and set off on today's adventure. If you're hyped, give it a thumbs up. Let's do this. So I just want to shout out absolutely everybody that's tweeting me at the moment. Look how many of you guys are liking my videos sharing your squads with me. Yo, that guy's got a nine tails. Look at that. So just keep on tweeting me, guys. I have this open all day, and I'd love to see what you're up to in Pokemon Go. So I've got something very special to show you guys. It's like a big thank you almost to all of you guys supporting my Pokemon Go videos. And on top of that, yesterday was the first episode I managed to directly record from my phone alongside vlogging. And I think you guys really enjoyed it, so we're going to continue to do that, because it means you guys can see even easier what's going on all the time. Now, as I said, yesterday's episode was up really late. I literally set up editing till 4 a.m. And while I stayed up late, I talked to a good designer of my friend to come up with an epic, epic new background for this channel just for Pokemon Go. You sure you guys are ready to see this? Take a look at my new banner. Oh my gosh, how amazing is this? We start off with the water Pokemon. We go all the way across to the grass and rock Pokemon. We've got both our puppy Eevee, the real Pokemon Eevee, myself, the fire Pokemon, and Pikachu taking over the electric side of things. So I'm going to apply this to my banner 
right now for you guys today. I hope you like it. Look who's joined us for this bit of the video. Good girl, Evie. So there we go, guys. A brand new banner in action. What do you think? Leave a comment down below, but I absolutely love it. So today I'm combining Pokemon Go with some errands I need to run. But since I know the town I'm going to to get a lot of stuff done today, also includes Poke Stops and Gyms, it's a perfect combination. So let's head off. God, it is, it is wet today, man. This is not the day to go Pokemon hunting. All right, guys, we're going to start off today by showing you something I've never actually done in a video before. So this is a gym I've gone to before, and it was ranked last night 25,000. and was a level 8 gym, which is unreal. Unfortunately, now it's been knocked down a little bit, but obviously I can put a Pokemon in there and strengthen it up a little bit since it's a Team Mystic Blue gym. But what you can also do against your own gym is fight your own gym and actually rank it up a little bit. So let me show you. So I'm going to choose Electrobuzz, and we're going to go into this fight against a Pokemon from my own team that's in there already with my Electra Butt. So let's hit him with a nice Thunder Punch. Go on, smash it. Yo oh, you're not very effective. Damn, Rock Man. It's not very good against our old uh, Thunder Electra Buzz, unfortunately. So that's the first Pokemon knocked down. We've got one more after this. is a Hypno. This could actually be really hard. Let's see if we can get a Thunder Punch in there as well. We may not even be able to defeat this guy, you know. This guy is really strong. In fact, I don't even think we will be able to defeat him. Can we get another Thunder Punch in there? Mm, yeah, it's not quite as good unfortunately. This, this Hypno is pretty good but it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter if you win it doesn't matter if you lose what i've done there to my own gym is given it prestige also earned myself my own xp and if you fight against your own gym and you do lose your pokemon won't get knocked out it'll only go down to one hp so if you see a gym from your own team go and fight against it to help rank it up it's a really good way of getting experience for your team's gym guys it's kicking off already we're starting off with a jigglypuff i'm gonna feed it a raspberry this is the first time i've ever found a jigglypuff so a first find for me, so it could mean Clefairy and Jigglypuff, a uh, Pokemon that look very similar, just both pink and cute, in the same day, that'd be amazing, so I'm going to go for a cheeky curveball, that, okay, bun curveballs, they're too risky, man, they're too risky, if they don't work, then they, you just mess up massively, oh god, I thought the game would crash there, dude, if the game crashes on me, I'm going to be so upset, the game is being really glitchy right now, I can't afford to lose this, <gasps> no, the Pokeball freaking, oh my god, Ali, I swear to god, if this doesn't work, okay, okay, nice, 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 it's in a Pokeball, don't freeze, I beg, I beg one. What? One roll and I caught it. Was that a glitch? I've never seen that in my life. What? What? One roll and a... I know that's a thing, I think, in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, the new Pokemon games, I believe. If you, like, randomly after one roll, I think you can just catch it straight up. But that's unreal, dude. Uh, an absolutely epic catch. I can't believe that. So a new Pokemon added to our Pokedex. But on top of that, from one of the recent Pokestops I've just gone to, I also got myself a new egg. So I think we got another two kilometer eggs. So, oh my gosh, uh, epic start to the day, man. So in terms of weather for today, it is shocking. It's supposed to be a British summer couldn't be further from that. It's raining, it's horrible, but we're still out and about. I've actually spotted people already on their phones playing Pokemon Go. Today is going to be a good one. All right, so currently there's a Haunter and a Coughing nearby. Neither of which I have. I'm trying to aim for this Haunter. It may not work, but regardless, we're heading towards loads of Poke stops. so potentially some new Pokemon on the way, baby. Yo, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. This is good, boys. This is really good. It's only two steps away, and it's the closest Pokemon to us. I swear we're going to run into this, I swear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I found it. It was actually just outside the pub that Claire and I went to literally just a few days ago. So I'm going to take a seated position and make sure I capture this guy. Now, one thing I haven't used since last episode, since getting them, is actually Great Balls. They look awesome. I can now get them from Pokey Stop. So I'm going to go for my very first ever live on camera Great Ball throw at a Haunter. So let's give us a go. Nice little cheeky one. Beautiful. Great throw. Guys, did you see that? Great throw. Okay, no one around really cares. It's, I did actually see two guys walking by on their phone. Focus, Ali. Focus. Yo, are you mad? Oh, are you mad? A Great Ball, Great Throw. That's disrespectful. No. No, no, Haunter, I know you're a good Pokemon. Your CP is not high enough for you to do this to me right now. No, okay, 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 okay. Think, Ali. Think, 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 think. What do you use on Pokemon that aren't going in the Pokeballs? You use a Raspberry, right? Okay, Raspberry fed up. He's feeling juicy. Throw, great throw with a Raspberry. There's no way this guy's popping out right now. What? What? How do people capture, like, Dragonites when a Haunter won't come out? I'm throwing another Raspberry. Take it, my friend. Take it. I've used, like, five Great Balls already. All right, well, it's in the Pokeball. It's not a great throw. I may have to give up on this guy if he keeps on popping out. One, two. What? This is the hardest capture ever. This is the hardest capture ever. I'm amazed he's still around. I'm amazed he hasn't ran yet. This is unreal, dude. I'm going to have to go past so many Pokestops to fill up after this. Two, three. Oh, my God. 
Oh my gosh, how long did this thing want to take to get caught? Wow, okay, well, new Pokemon added to the Pokedex Haunter with one off Gengar. Let's check how many or oh, 100 ghastly candies to evolve into Gengar. Ah, oh, well, Claire and I actually want to go on a late night adventure, playing Pokemon Go in the darkness, finding ghastly, finding horses, and ultimately trying to get a Gengar. So if you guys want to see that, look out for it soon. All right, guys, so I am literally less than 100 XP off level 14 now, and I'm against a rat attack. That's so ratty, but the thing is, in the issue is that the higher level you get, obviously the higher CP the Pokemon get, which means it's then harder to capture even the basic Pokemon like Pidgey and Rattata, which means you need even more Pokeballs, even more Great Balls, which means to staying at home, like this guy's just come out of my Pokeball straight away, which means that you have to go out even more and like grind out all the Poke Stops to get those balls, otherwise you just don't have enough to capture them, like all of these Pokemon are taking like a good two, three plus balls, like this guy's just not going in, it's a freaking Rattata. So the grind's becoming a little bit harder, but after we've caught this, which we should do, we'll be able to level up. Thankfully, it only took one more ball after stopping talking but yo look how many poke <gasps> oh my god okay an egg is hatching oh my god it's all kicking off we're leveling up the poking around as an egg is hatching Okay, it's a magic carp, but that is actually really good news, although it doesn't sound it, because that'll actually give us magic carp candies. So we're 23 out of 400, which is, oh my god, I've got four Pokemon around me, and I'm hitting level 14. Great balls, nice, super potions, not so nice. I just need as many balls as I can get, to be honest, because it's so easy to run low. But let's check in, actually, on our egg. So actually, 0.2 kilometers away from finishing off a five kilometer egg. I said I'd do two kilometer eggs today, so let's throw that one in and get that hatching, and hopefully you should get that one hatching in this episode as well, which should be awesome. So we're making progress, boys. I like it. So guys, the things are literally kicking off right now. I've literally just taken this gym. You can see on my screen, it's being attacked. I told you guys that little animation basically meant the gym was being attacked last episode. And I've got two gyms under my control. But for the moment, like because we're being attacked and I'm back in my car, I am going to go to the shop and then quickly go to the shield and quickly just cash in those two gyms. I think we've literally just lost that maybe. Have we lost? just lost it? Yeah, literally that's just gone to a neutral gym. So I cashed in with a second to spend. There. But basically, I've done all my errands in town today, taken on two gyms in the local area using the Electro Buzz. I'll show some clips of me actually killing the gym and taking it over myself. I had to do it twice over. But my Electro Buzz is so strong, man. 800 CP. He's an absolute boss. On top of that, I actually went to the dentist, and while I was in the dentist, one of my eggs hatched. So I'll show that right now. And I was like, oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? I can't get excited if it's amazing So I'm in the middle of a freaking dentist. It turned out to be a Nidoran male, which is actually awesome because what I'm going to do right now is go to my Pokemon. And honestly, I've got so many candies for that Nidoran male egg, which is really cool. If I give it about terrible 10 CP one, I now have 25 CP. So, oh, here we go. Oh, wow, I've got two. I didn't know they had that many. All right, well, my best um, Nidoran seems to be the 207 one. So, we can evolve this bad boy into its evolution, which I believe is Nidorino, getting close to Nido King. I think this is an epic evolution. It's such a good chain of Pokemon. And this is the very first gen, and having a male and female sort of like versions was really cool and really different. And look how badass he looks, man. That is awesome. It's also going to give us loads of XP as well, and I'm trying to get up as many levels as possible. I think I said I wanted to get close to 15. I think it's going to be a little bit too much to ask for this episode, but that is awesome. 100 now candies needed to get up to Nido King, and he's got 340 CP. Not bad. I'm just redoing my route one more time before I jump back in my car, because you know the gym I was showing you literally a second ago that got attacked, and we lost it just as we cashed in our gym points. Well, I went back there, two guys sitting on their phone, and I was like, yo, what's up? You guys just took my gym, and they were explaining how they come here every single day and I was like yo if you've got any good Pokemon that are in an area nearby that I can go and find because I mean I'm not sure exactly how it works but I think if I found a Pokemon in an area someone else can come along and find it in the exact same spot like I'm pretty sure that Pokemon live in a very similar position to where they're found doesn't matter if they're on your account or somebody else's account so those guys despite being team Valor team red gave me a tip off for a Scyther I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna try and find the place they told me and go on a hunt for an epic that his hit 500 CP Scyther. This could be unreal. Okay, so I'm back home for a little bit just before we set up for the Scyther hunt. What do you think, Evie? Do you think we're going to find it? Do you think Team Val or Team Red have just sent me on a wild goose chase? Hopefully not. But just before I want to go, just to go a little bit of time here, I am going to do some evolving off camera. I don't have, I do have one lucky egg, but I want to kind of save it. I don't know. I don't want to like use it quite yet. I get scared about using items. I've only got one left. I'm just going to evolve ma as many Pokemon as I can, all the Pidgeys, all the Weedles, basically the tactics from the last video, see where I get to. Now, at the moment, about five and a half thousand into level 14 it's taking me a lot of xp for these level up now so hopefully by the time i'm finished with all these evolutions we should be close to 15. evie's literally just chewed this remote and turned the tv on 
The weather today outside is shocking. I'm glad I didn't quite get caught in the downpour that literally just happened outside, but I've done all the leveling up and this is where I stand right now. It's about 11,000 XP. This is a lot of XP and I believe when you get to 20, it's like 50,000 XP per level or something unreal like that. So progression is a lot harder at the moment, but we're getting there. So next up today is to go on that side to hunt. Hopefully we can find him. I have no idea if this is going to work to be honest with you guys, but I think it will. Fingers crossed. I've got a few eggs. Two kilometer eggs that are very close to being hatched. That should happen right here. Today, can we get started? Can we not? I have no idea. It's probably going to be a caterpie. Unreal right now. I'm going to jump in the car and we're going to shoot off to try and find this potential sighter. I don't know if it's actually going to be a thing. They could be trolling me or just may not work. May not even be there. Could be telling the truth. It may not even be there. Now, this is being recorded a little bit later. It's a little bit darker because I've literally spent like three or four hours recording, hours editing, and all we need to do now to finish off today's video is go on this scyther hunt. If excited, give it a thumbs up. Wish me luck. Let's head over to the location I've been tipped off on. Guys, we have arrived. Claire was checking her phone as we came in. Baby, there's not only one scyther here, there's two scythers here and a Porygon. What is life? This guy is giving me the greatest Pokemon tip off of all times. However, at the moment, they're currently three steps away and look where we are. The field is vast, my friends. It is vast and I need to capture this. So there's only one thing left to do. That's to get out of this freaking car and go hunting for these wild Pokemon. I, I'm actually, I'm in, I'm in shock. There's five, five Scythers on my map. I've never had one in my life. Unfortunately, the Pokemon from Gold and Silver aren't in this game, so we can't get a Sizzle, which I'd love. I'm a bit of a Sizzle fanboy, but five! What? There's no way we're not finding a Scyther today. This is crazy. There's no way we're not finding a Scyther today. We are now literally walking on a boardwalk in the middle of, like, what are these things? This is like a reed pond. Reed, that's it. Reeds everywhere. Enough of you guys taking the piss out of the fact I didn't know what a goose was, or what was it in the end? A swan. A swan. <laughs> As you guys can probably see, it's freaking dark. Jeez, man. The sun has literally gone. The only thing I can see right now is the freaking moon. Which Pokemon sun and moon you guys really want me to do a playthrough of that now? All right, guys. I have found a wild scyther. It's a godly wild scyther. Really going out in this kind of darkness is not a good idea. I was wandering through alleys and streets. So I was like, this is scary. Anyway, I'm throwing a raspberry at it. Next up, I'm just going to throw a great ball at it. Look at that. Oh my god, it's bad. No, 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 no. I do not want to spin. Okay, it's really laggy, guys. It's really laggy. Come on. Oh my god, no, this is not funny. Oh my god, it went in the Pokeball. But the game glitched out. No, 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 oh my god, oh my god, I don't know. The, the, the Great Ball's been thrown. I'm gonna have to reboot the game and just find out if I've caught it or not. Alright guys, I swear to god I've run into like three of them and the game's glitched out on every single one of them. Like I'm low-key on high tilt right now to be honest with you. But we have a 478 one right in front of us and I swear to god, come on Ali, great! Come on, gods, I beg, I beg. All I want is this to get in this Pokeball. No. Every single Scyther, I think I've come up against three so far. This is the fourth I'm recording. The game's glitched out when I've tried to capture it. So I'm just gonna go for a Great Ball. Oh my God, it span away. Oh my God, it span away. I threw it straight. Dude, I threw it straight. Game, 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 game. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, game. Oh my God, it's, fr it's frozen again, I think. Okay, it's a great one. God, please, please, I beg, I beg. Come on, just give me a roll. Give me a roll, give me a roll. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's jumped out. At least the ball worked. I didn't even hit. Oh my God, oh my God. I swear, okay, at least the game's running smoothly. It's span away. No! Oh my god. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. What are you doing? I'm not throwing curveballs. Game, come on. D game, come on. Come on. Like, I can't even access my items. I can't even access my items. I can only throw. Come on. Oh, come on, gods. I'm a 1%. I'm a 1%. And the game's frozen on me. Give it a sec. Guys, what you just witnessed is the ultimate of all ultimate failed capture rage. And I, I, I wasn't sure if I should put it in, but I was like, you know what? That is literally how frustrated I got. I can't believe that I went into that with five scythers appearing on my nearby list. Every single one that I went up against, and something I didn't even put in this video, the game glitched out, it signed me out, they disappeared. I, this has been the biggest Pokemon Go fail thus far, and we've had so much success. I think what I'm going to do is maybe tomorrow go back and try and capture a Scyther eventually and actually get him on our team. But for the moment, with this unfortunately somber ending, we're going to finish this episode. Make sure you're subscribing, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy, and as always, come back tomorrow for another brand new episode. We'll be playing Pokemon Go and hopefully, hopefully, having a bit more success.